Hello. This is a new camera I, I got on eBay, and it was um, one I was curious about because uh, I was looking at 90s Nikon cameras, and they kind of really went through this plastic phase that people really didn't like, but they had tons of features that I thought, you know, you can pick them up for like 20 to $40, usually on the lower end. And this is one I decided to get my first one. I actually bought two. This one is the N75, the Nikon, and it actually comes, uh, it has a flash built in here, and um, it's electronic. It takes two, either CR, yeah, CR2 batteries. So it takes two of them, and you can still buy those batteries. So this one does not have the um, the date back there. That was an option. You can get the date back. You can actually you can take off the whole back um, if you wanted to. And there's different. The metering is here on the back. So we have multi spot. You can move around spot, and then I'm not sure what the green one means. I think it's all over. Um, a little select wheel. And we have all the modes here. This looks really familiar and it looks very much modern. The whole layout hasn't changed. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. It comes to life. The It's fairly responsive as far as the, um, when you're looking at um, subjects and you have it in autofocus mode, it does, uh, let's see, do I have an autofocus? No. There's autofocus. Little switches right there, M to AF. And this is a Nikon lens. Uh, this is the 3580 uh, 4 to 5.6D. It's not a, not a crazy expensive lens, but it works. Um, and we have different modes here. We can just select, throw in an auto. I'm sure it's good. Here's the mode drive. So we have um, three modes. There's also a um, the release for the lens. There's a VKT button. What does that do? I don't know, but it came with the original manual. Um, so I can look all that up. Um, I usually throw it in just the easiest mode. I have not taken pictures with this. My idea was to just use this for black and white film because I can develop my own black and white film. Here you can cut on a backlight for the display if you're at night. There's a self timer button. There's, um, let's see, if you throw it in manual, there's an aperture control. Um, let's see, we got portrait mode, landscape, macro, um, shutter priority, night, and MASP, and then there's back to auto. It has a hot shoe, but it also, let's see if I can, there we go. There's the, um, the little um, built-in flash, which is quite lovely. I kind of, I'm a fan of that actually. Um, but the cool thing I like about this one is, oops, let me throw an auto. It wants to do that. You see some really interesting stuff through the... Can we see it? There we go. You can see what it's saying. It just like a, a modern uh, DSLR. I'm going to cut this off. Remove the lens so we can look at what's going on inside of it. And this one has lovely, the lens has uh, aperture control here. And then we can select the focus there. So here we have a lovely um, a mirror right in there. And I'll use my little spatula. You know, and it flips up. And then there's the shutter, the, um, well, the, the curtain. Um, and I'm going to open the back of it and there it is it's it, this is pretty standard for 90s models 
put the film in there, it registers as film, there's the screen, and then it has the um, a little uh, take up reel that's fairly convenient with the back plate. Tripod mount, the it's made in Thailand. Um, put the lens back on. Line up the dots. Kind of clock twist, snaps on. This uh, little button here at the bottom is a, um, it's like a preview button. It triggers the uh, aperture. So you can kind of see what's going on. Um, it's kind of, um, kind of old school. Um, yeah, but um, my idea was I was going to take this to Alaska to take pictures, but it turns out it was too cumbersome. I ended up taking my um, my Lomo camera and uh, the damn film kind of jammed inside of it, so I was not happy. Um, but I did want to show this one off. It's rec recent acquisition. And here's the original booklet in English, and it goes through all the different parts of it, so I haven't finished reading it, but I'm excited to use this because, um, you know, as far as Nikon goes, they make excellent cameras, even though these are sort of plasticky, they're, um, I mean, they have a metal uh, lens mount, but um, they still take really, really good pictures, so I thought I'd share. Anyway, thanks for watching.